everyone, and welcome back to Danganronpa. It's gonna be fun doing voices while I'm all nasally. Hey, the gate's blocking my way, so there's still another floor, which means not everything has opened yet. Now I have no idea what we were doing last time. I think we were just exploring. So yeah. What? Oh, the baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Yeah, we are already in here. I think. This must be what he meant by a new world. Hmm. I should probably take a really close look around. Okay. Um. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Leave the area? Yes. I'm sorry if I sniffle. My nose is like running and then it's like not. Uh, it's gross. <laughs> Oh, we already were in here. Goodbye! No, that's not what I meant. Goodbye. Goodbye, leave the area. Yes! Um... Maybe we should go back to the first floor? And be like, hey guys, we explored. Already we're in there. I don't think there's anywhere else we didn't explore. We're in the library. What's this? Oh, that's the classroom we were just in. What am I doing? <laughs> oh lord. Exit, exit, exit. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Every character in this playthrough is gonna sound like they have a cold. Ooh, pool? I didn't go in this room. Asahina, are you in here? Yep. <laughs> I knew she was gonna be in here. Oh, Makoto! Hey, guess what? I can't even do their voices. <laughs> Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Pool, pool, pool! Pool, pool, pool! You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Cause she likes the pool. Hello, Chihiro. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, no. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem to be like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I kind of like to get a little stronger. Want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot in the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? It, it's not that I don't want to. It's just... Oh, I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Celeste! <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown. And a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have made... What? <laughs> things have made! Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird laugh. I was just like, mm, when she was like, eh -heh -heh. <laughs> there are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf. Yay, we got a coin. Um, oh, I pre ordered The Last of Us, the second Last of Us game. I should say. I'm very excited. I forgot to mention that. It looks like one of those lifesaver flotation donuts. Yes, it is. I'm so excited to get The Last of Us 2. Ah, uh, we go to the girls. Is this some kind of card reader? I wonder what it's for. Okay, let's go to the boys. Behind this door is the locker room? Uh. Oh! 
And I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Martino. Really, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of voice is that? Really, really? <laughs> ah! If you want to unlock her, the locker room. There we go. That's his voice. <laughs> just, he became a freaking bike ganger. Really, really? <laughs> You'll have to swipe your personal ebook handbook across the card reader next to the door. It was e handbook, not ebook handbook. <laughs> However, to ins ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room. And the same goes for the girls. I think I remember who dies next, and now I'm sad. And that's the bottom line. Hmm? But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <laughs> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual de depravity v dep dep ab 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 depravity depravity There we go. <laughs> I can't English. See? There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? And it'll be all dunka 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 dunka. I bet it really hurt to get what? <laughs> I can't even speak. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Oh. What? That never even occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish! Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, then. How's this sound? Time for a new rule! As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited! There. So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? Because it's my brain. Because what? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Martino. It's cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs! You're at the age you'll try humping a plastic bottle! <laughs> what?! So to keep anything unseemingly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch! <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing stopping them. All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself! Praise Jesus! <laughs> I don't care what happens in your private dorms! By force or by cunning, do whatever you want! I hate you so much! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place! See ya! See, yeah. I guess. Bye, Monokuma. Jeez. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. Mm -hmm. Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? Look, she... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'll pass this time. How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. <laughs> anyway, now I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head to the dining hall as soon as possible. Okay. And we're here. Hello? 
Everyone is here, okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Any new interesting new anything? Any interesting new anything? Any new do 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 anything? There's a library! And a pool! A freaking pool! And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment! There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. The warehouse and the bathhouse on the first floor are door of uh, the dorms are now open. And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. So go ahead and stuff to your gills whenever you feel like. Ha ha ha. Keep in mind, of course, that going out at night time is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Oh. Okay, more about fucking way out of here. You find anything like that? Huh? Mm. Oh, well, um. Huh? There wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Oh. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. You fucking people. Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. I mean, I gotta agree with Mondo, man. <laughs> now, now. There is no point taking in what? I... <laughs> Every freaking line of like, what? What? What did you say? What? Now, now. There's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaption is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now, let's just continue our investigation. And let everyone know if you should discover something. Yeah. So, we're done for today? Well, well yeah, I guess so. His voice has gotten so slow. <laughs> He's so sad. The, the air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? Dots. Togami says nothing. Ding dong, bing bong. A ding dong, a bing bong. I need to make a compilation of how many times I say ding dong bing bong twice. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <coughs> I'm dying. Sorry for the gross sniffling. That's so gross. I'm so sorry. We all promise not to leave our rooms during night time. There's not much mut else. Mut else? <laughs> There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. I need to get like a nasal spray. Get rid of my stuffy nose. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. All my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy-paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Okay, that had nothing to do with anything ever. Ding dong, bing bong.
Oh, here we go. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. <laughs> My nose. <laughs> this whole episode is me going, ah, I'm sick, but at least I live streamed for a second day. That's good. I'm trying to get some pre-recorded videos because, like, I haven't had pre-recorded videos in a while. So I'm trying to work hard at everything. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added. So please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. I'm letting him finish. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Can we look at the handbook? I gotta look at my handbook. Let's look at the regulations. Do, 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 do. Yeah, loaning your e-book to another student is strictly prohibited. Additional school, school regulations may be added as necessary. Additional school. School. Okay. Can we go into the bathroom? I can't let myself turn away from Sayaka's death. For Sayaka. And for myself. Aww. It's so sad. Garbage can? There isn't anything remarkable or noteworthy about the trash can. Oh, we got a coin though. That's good. Okay, let's leave. Leave the area? Yes. Hmm. We got to go to breakfast. Can I go into Sayaka's room? Sayaka. No, I can't waste time on sentimentality now. The others must be waiting for me in the dining hall. Okay, well, uh, can I buy things? Where, where can I buy things again? That's the dining hall. What's this? I don't have any reason to, do, to go to the school area. The others must be waiting for me. It's just dining hall. Can we go in the bath? Taka was right. We can really get in here now. But the others must be waiting for me. It's just dining hall. I'm going to go to the But I want to explore. The others must be waiting for me. It's just dining hall. Okay, fine. I'll go to the dining hall. If that's what you want, fine. Morning, Makoto! Good morning. Is everyone here already? You. Nope. Still waiting for B B Bakuyan Taka. Bakuyan Taka. That's how you say his name. Bakuya's no surprise, but strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> yet? <laughs> Knowing Taka. I imagine he is trying to get the King of Tardiness up out of bed. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is... I am thirsty. How the hell is that a problem? Ifumi, would you make me some tea? Huh? Milk tea, if you please. Uh, why me? <laughs> Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? <laughs> I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Uh, okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, he Fumi soaked his way into the kitchen. <laughs> I actually really like Celeste. She's sassy, but like, I like her. <laughs> and a few minutes later... <gasps> Thank you for waiting! Ifumi reappeared with a tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> hmm, finally. 
Finally! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know? Yeah, you could have, man. I empathetically decline. You're not my type, after all. Hmm. <laughs> it's all about the law of casualty. Basic instinct. Act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind... A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Wall? Why? Crash! Uh, okay. What the? Hey! What are you doing, my little white rabbit? Ew! Stop, Hifumi. I hate this kind of tea. Uh, um, I don't understand. Imagine we were at a coffee shop. Just any normal, everyday cafe. I sit down, and I order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am... <coughs> clear my throat. I am among those who prefer the milk to be a part of the process from the out outset. The fragrance... Fragrance... The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Well, I think I should end this episode of Danganronpa here, actually. And we shall continue in the next episode because I am losing my voice! <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching! Like, comment, subscribe, do what you want, and stay tuned for the next episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Bye!